I was since you were six years old. So this is your favorite sport since then? Uh, yeah, well, my first favorite sport was football. Football? Yeah, it wasn't until I was about 12 that kind of changed. Okay, and uh, what was the biggest challenge you encountered when you entered NBA? Uh, the biggest challenge? Uh, just the, to get used to the amount of travel uh, with so many games. Uh, just getting used to the schedule. Uh, obviously, the first thing you hear when you when I hear the name Dayton is, of course, Gary Payton. Yeah. Uh, coincidentally, you guys kind of play a lot when you're both locked down defenders at your position. Uh, you have craft playmaking and ball handling. In some way, do you pattern your game along with uh, Kind of. I wasn't, I wasn't really familiar as much with Gary Payton games until I got to the NBA. But I do see that we have a few uh, some of the yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So, uh, is it safe to say that uh, you would want to be like him someday, or uh, um, mirror his career, or something? Maybe, maybe mirror his career. I mean, he's somebody that you know respects. At the, at Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame. Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, and he also has a championship ring. So, if I'm able to do you know some of those things, I see it's a pretty successful career. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. I, uh, I, you look so young, no? How, yeah. how old are you? Uh, I just turned 23. How do you see yourself five years from now? Uh, hopefully, um, with a championship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that's most important for me right now. Right. So, who's your uh, inspiration? Who's your idol in in the ring, in the field of basketball? Uh, when I was when I was younger, my favorite player was Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. uh, that was somebody I looked up to. Because um, he was tough, uh, somebody that always gave it his all on the court, so that was somebody I wanted to, to kind of be like. Wow. Thank you. Sir, how are you enjoying the Philippines? So far, so good. I got here at 4.30 this morning, so I haven't had much time to, to really get out there, but uh, so far, so good. Yeah. Do you see yourself playing another NBA in the next few years? No. Uh, hopefully, I hope to be with the, with the magic. Yeah. Yeah. Alfred, uh, speaking about Alan Iverson, he sported the cornrows, and and then now you you, you kind of have a unique hairstyle. And what yeah. you play with different hairstyles? Yeah. <laughs> Can you talk about it? Uh, is, is this part of a part of your personality? Um, I mean a little bit. Uh, my hair kind of grew from something in high school, and I just kind of like what it did. But I think, uh, you know, Allen Iverson was somebody who um, was himself, and he never tried to be anybody else. And that's always something to him. Okay, so, Pinoy's are curious. Do you have a ritual in the morning, or what? Do you put some special cream on it? Or I don't. I don't have any special ritual in the morning. My, my, the only thing I do is, you know, shampoo it. <laughs> my hair, make sure I wash it, keep it clean. I'm sorry, man. But that's about it. <laughs> right, great. What advice can you give to the junior NBA participants? Uh, you know, work hard. Um, give it all you got. Um, you know, it's okay to be nervous at first. But, uh, you know, it's the game that you've been playing pretty much all your life. So just have fun. Thank you. Thank you.